I don't know how much battery I have, so. Camera is ready. I'm gonna take this thing out. So, my first FSD drive was back in 2020, October at 3 a.m. And right now it is September, no, actually it's October 1st here in the East Coast because it's 1 a.m. So I'm gonna take this thing out. I'm gonna do the same, same drive that I did back then. So let's see the difference this time with the Cybertruck. Okay, <laughs> yes, we drive. Let's take it out of here for now. So I can see that the, the screen is telling me to hit the navigation, which for me has to be only cruise control for a really long time. I uh, hit it once to activate FSD supervised. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do it when we're outside my community because I am blocking my actual location right now. We're gonna take it out a little bit and then, yeah. Let's take this puppy to the hardware store. Okay, we are at the parking lot now and we are going to select. Our destination is gonna be the hardware store. It's not very far, it's only three and a half miles away, as the bird flies, I think. I think it's a little bit farther. Once we actually drive, we'll know for sure. It still says 3.2, so, all right. Let's engage this thing and see how it does. Um, I don't see. There we go. Okay, there's actually double stop signs right here. So it's actually three stop signs. We just went through two and Cybertruck is gonna take us all the way to the hardware store. Let's see how it does. First thing that I wanna see is speed bumps. It did slow down for the speed bump which is a good thing. Um, on this road, there should be a couple more speed bumps and the sprinklers are going. So I wonder if it's gonna freak out with the water and stuff. Let's see. Oh, it didn't slow down for that speed bump, but that is not a problem on the Cybertruck because this bad boy is pretty high. And we should be making a left-hand turn coming up in a moment. So it should start changing lanes very soon. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Turn signal to change lanes and turn signal again on the stop sign. I wonder if I should be touching the wheel or not. I'm so used to touching the wheel when autopilot is engaged. I'm not gonna touch the wheel. I'm just going to pay attention to the road. Um, I think this is supposed to be completely hands-free, so I'm not gonna touch the wheel. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And if I see the warning, of um, hands on the wheel, I will 
put some pressure on it, but right now I'm not doing anything. Oh, this is finally, I can't believe that we finally got this thing. I am not necessarily testing this because I want to, you know, in this particular case, provide actual feedback right now. What I'm trying to do is test the feature that the car is supposed to have. My uh, off-road tires are right on point right now and they're humming real good. I have something here, maybe a plastic part or something that I, I still haven't unpacked the truck completely from our trip. Oh, it's telling me to apply turning force to the steering wheel. Okay, so it's not fully hands-free right now. Um, maybe because it's dark? Or maybe it's, uh, I have to turn it completely on. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I have just been a user and not a techie when it comes to FSD for a little bit because I haven't been using it for so long. I just came back from the Arctic and uh, I had to drive all that stuff manually. So only cruise control, but so far so good. But you know, I know it's not a challenge because there's not a lot of traffic, but what do you expect? It's 1 a.m. and this is when I got it, so I'm doing it. Apply slightly turning, slight turning force to the wheel. Okay, I did it again. Now this, uh, after we make the next left hand turn in a couple of traffic lights, there's gonna be uh, some S's on the route, like that street is a lot of fun um, to drive. I want to see how the car does it. And there's going to be like a couple of stop signs along the S's. So that should be fun. Unbelievable. We finally got FSD on the Cybertruck. Ultra Doom is now ready for another road trip. <laughs> I don't know how I feel if uh, I feel happy or I feel sad that the next long trip I'm not gonna have to actually manually drive it the whole way uh, I'm going to assist I'm going to be uh, just supervising maybe <laughs> maybe I should go to the Arctic again <laughs> <laughs> Maybe test it on the Dempster Highway, see how it does. It may want to go too fast and use too much energy. Well, there's only one way to know. Okay, let's stop dreaming for a second. Let's actually see what's going to happen here on the next left-hand turn. I'm going to expand visualizations here. It's a pretty massive screen, huh? Okay. <laughs> there goes stuff that I had on the console, <laughs> on the little center console. Okay, the light is green and it's not moving, so I'm gonna tap it. Just a quick tap. Hmm, that, I would've, preferred that to actually just automatically go like my Model 3 does. Hmm. Interesting. Here comes the S's and there's, I think there's like three different stop signs along the way and this thing just took the two lanes right down the middle taking that turn. The second one was perfect. Huh. It is, it looks like it's over the line, but it's actually inside the line. Huh. Say, stop sign, let's go. Oh God, I'm gonna have to finish unloading the truck. There's just some minor stuff there. Nothing of value, that's why I left it. Now, we're gonna have to make a right-hand turn into the hardware store 
so it should be changing lanes to the right very soon oh i hear it it went over the middle line because the little uh, bumps were crushed all right this is the last stop sign uh, so after this we're gonna have to change to the right hand lane which it just did there's some ducks on the median um, and the hardware store is coming up okay so let's see how it does this and then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna reset the drive to go back to the point of origin see how it does I wonder why it's gonna do with this empty parking lot right now. Ooh, the parking lot is completely turned off. <clears throat> I wonder if it's gonna freak out. Oh, it knows, it knows where the road is. So it's just gonna park itself probably right. Oh, wait, is it, look, is it looking for a parking spot? No can't be tell me that it's going to park itself huh okay it kind of parked itself not very properly but there is something going on here I see police cars, so I'm just gonna leave the parking lot before they think I'm doing something wrong here. And put the navigation to go to the point of origin that we had. However, I am going to look for that right now, which is this place and it is this one okay let's activate fsd again and see what happens leaving the hardware store there's a stop sign it stopped at the stop sign but it should creep out I guess it knows and there's no cars coming, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing as long as it doesn't do anything wrong. And uh, hopefully I don't have too many loose items down there that are going to make noise. Let's maximize this. Oh, it was, that was avoiding the curb on the middle or the median. So, efficiency right now is at 422 watt hours per mile. Now we just bump into 469. Okay, here comes the heart breaking again, I'm pretty sure. Attention monitoring active. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay, so I guess that if it can see me, if it can see me, then it doesn't require me to touch the wheel, to put pressure on the wheel. But it did ask me late, earlier, so it's doing that. This is wild that I finally have uh, the last missing feature active. Okay, uh, this is taking a very unique route, but I know that this route has some speed bumps and it's probably more challenging than if we went straight there. So yeah, has some turns. It's avoiding the turning lane correctly, that's good. It used to just fall into the turning lane. I wonder if that's actually fixed for good. Hmm. Speed bump at 31 miles an hour. There's a speed hump coming and it says take it at 15. Oh, it's slowing down. Not quite 15, it took it at 19. 
Okay. Speed bumps. The speed bumps here are not like very nicely identified other than the, the white lines. Oh, it says view of the driver obscured by hat. Um, yeah, I have a hat, but my eyes are looking at the camera. I know, I know you can, you should be able to see me. Okay, I'm gonna remove my hat now. See if that makes a difference. Attention monitoring active. Okay. I guess it doesn't like me to wear a hat. <laughs> this car coming. Don't go. Don't go. Good. All right. Well, that was a kind of a wide left hand turn. I guess it's fine if there's no cars around. I wonder what that would look like with a car next to you. Okay. Oh, it's gonna make the, the funky route. Okay. I dig this route. You can turn on to the right. Yes, go ahead. Perfect, sweet. Now it's gotta hunt down uh, the leftmost lane because we're gonna make a left. Good, no hesitation. It's an easy drive. Again, there's no cars on the road basically, but uh, I'm just validating that I have freaking FSD finally on the car. Huh. Okay. Today is officially October 1st, 2024. In California, it's still September 31st. So I guess the promise has been fulfilled. We have FSD on the Cybertruck. All the stuff that I have on the drawers is humming and making sounds. <laughs> not a very long video, uh, not very challenging. Just, like I said, proving that the Cybertruck FSD is finally active. Um, I'm glad because I'm about to, uh, I have, I own three Teslas and you know, I don't need to own three Teslas right now. So I've been thinking of selling my Model 3, which is the oldest car, it's a 2020, but it has a brand new battery pack. So I may just go ahead and sell that. The battery's like two days old. Uh, it was replaced by warranty. Uh, it didn't want to charge while I was on the Arctic. My friend Salif took it to the service center and they replaced the battery. When I came back uh, a few days later, they replaced it. So uh, now I have basically a brand new car that, that is paid off. And I think I'm gonna sell it. All right, we are almost at our destination. I wonder if the car is going to park or if it's going to just like linger around the parking lot. It's a gas station slash convenience store. The car is swerving all over the lane lines. And I don't think it's gonna park itself. It looks like the pin is 
around the corner here after this uh, stop sign. So let's see what the car does. It would be great. Oh, it's parking itself. <laughs> it was doing so good and it parked sideways. Okay, so we are done. Now I am just going to drive the car. The car literally parked itself, um, just not very well. And now I'm just going to take it home. So thanks for watching. I hope, I hope that you liked this uh, first drive of FSD with my Cybertruck. You are my witness. Finally have it. So anyway, take care, everybody. See you on the road. Go Tesla. <laughs>